to change our lives forever. Building our nations and our homes, restoring sights to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barrier, cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It's rap so deep, our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Rap so deep, our reality is giving our day a lift. Directing our path, enlightening our world, rhapsody of reality. It has come to change our lives forever. With so much joy from the Rainbow Nation of South Africa, we bring you every day of this month the insightful revelations contained in the September edition of our Messenger Angel, Rhapsody of Realities. You as an individual, your uniqueness, God loves it. He delights in it. The Bible says He delights in us. It's engaging. What are you doing to become successful? What are the things you're going to wake up and do yes. so that you are successful? It's inspiring. So if you are a heap on the floor in a place of depression, you can rise out of it by beginning to speak what God's Word says about you. Hallelujah. And it's exciting. Jeez, where are you? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Don't miss it. Stay tuned. Good day to you all. It's me, Dorothy, and it's a great pleasure to welcome you to today's episode of Rhapsody of Reality. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Tace, and thank you for joining us on Rhapsody of Reality. In this season of productivity, we start off each day with thanksgiving, honor, and glory to our Lord for His mercy. I knew every morning, and we are cautious of the Holy Spirit in us, enabling us to do all things. Hallelujah. I am conscious of the power of our Lord Jesus Christ that is at work in me. I declare that by His Spirit that functions in us, we do things excellently and productively. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My name is Mona Lisa, and I welcome you to today's exciting episode of your favorite daily devotional, The Rhapsody of Reality. Amen. It is imperative to know who you are and what you've been enabled to do. I pray that today it dawns on your spirit how powerful you are because of He that dwells in you. Surely greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. I am Deborah and I greet you in the matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now many of you may know that we have a great, I mean a great website for Rhapsody of Reality. Some of you may have even visited the site. If you go to that site every single day, you will find new information every single day. You have to go to Rhapsody of Reality's website. Totally. You have to go www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. I have to admit, this website is definitely Outstanding. my favorite. Oh. Every day there's a new testimony of someone's life that's been changed, that's been impacted by this book and by default those who already know him. Isn't it absolutely amazing how one copy of Rhapsody of Reality entering into a home can change the lives of the members of that home? Amen. You know, it's like, it's like when that copy enters oh, that yes. house, it breathes Amen. the very life Amen. of God into yes. that Hallelujah. home in every nook and cranny, yes. whether they know it or not. Glory to God. Amen. Jesus Amen. said, the words that I speak are spirit Amen. and life. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And while you're at the site, you can go and read the blogs. You can add your comments. 
and start up discussions with others that That's are right. like-minded. You'll find a whole new world on the Rhapsody of Realities website. When you go there, it is not going to be easy for you to leave. Oh, yeah. And you are going to find very real answers to your very real questions. Hallelujah. But don't take our word for it. Uh -huh. Go check it out check for it yourself. Out. Check, it out. check it out. <laughs> We're going on a short break and we will be right back to share the final message of September 2011. Stay tuned. Hallelujah. Welcome back to Rhapsody of Realities. If you've just tuned in, your timing is impeccable. We're about to share a message by Pastor Anita more than a routine. And she's going to be teaching us today about prayer. What is prayer really about? Because you know, prayer was never intended to be results-oriented or duty-based, but to be a time of encounter and fellowship with God. Hallelujah. Join Thank us as Lord. we go into today's message. Hallelujah. Well, join me as we read from Ephesians, the sixth chapter, verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Pastor Anita is ministry to us today, and she says, As Christians, we are called into fellowship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is nothing with, greater than that. Oh, to be called into that. fellowship with yeah. God Hallelujah. Himself. Yeah. Hallelujah! Do you know what a privilege that is? To be called into fellowship with God. He doesn't just want you coming to Him when you have needs. He wants to build a friendship with you. He wants to have a love relationship with you. That is actually the highest part of Christianity. That's the glory of Christianity. It's the fellowship that we get to have with God Almighty. You get to hear the Father, God of the universe, speaking to you and you can talk back to him and together you can act as one Glory hallelujah God. you know prayer is not a one way traffic uh -uh. it has to be two way and that's it's, what makes fellowship that's what it's makes two way. amen it's exactly. a two way communication exactly Mona Lisa. it has to be two can you imagine where is god communing with me and that's me right communing with I'm not talking to him. I'm talking with him. Amen. Glory and yet to many God. have actually taken prayer to be one way. Them praying to God and never taking time to actually listen to what God has to say. And Pastor right. Anita says that we've actually been called into a fellowship. That's right. Communication with God. Yes. Not just a talk with God. Because many just want to talk to God and pray. He must hear me. God hear me. God hear me. God hear me. And God is crying out loud. Hear me, hear what I have to say, because it's a fellowship. So prayer for us is more than just an opportunity to get God to do something for us. Amen. Oh, I'm telling you, prayer is so big. It is so big. Amen. It is right. not, I mean, to get something for us from God. It's just minuscule in, in terms of the vastness that is available to us through prayer. And until prayer changes you, your prayer life is not effective oh, glory yet. To God. That's glory right. to I love Jesus. what you said. I just love what you said. That prayer has to start with by changing yourself. Yes. It That's changes right. you yes. as you minister to the Lord, as you fellowship. Do you know what happens? There's a rub off. Yes. There's a oh, good smear. Oh, yes. Yes. And that's how prayer actually changes that's an individual. Right. Because as you are communicating with God, you know, that's why the Bible says that two that are like when they hang together, you, you become exactly the that's other. Right. And so when you spend that's time right. in prayer, you become like your father. Oh, the result is you start smelling God kind perfume. Oh, that's because right. Because you spend time in that's prayer right. with him. And so you actually get a rub off of his nature. You know what you just said? Mona Lisa um, reminds me of in the book of the Song of Solomon you know that is um, you can look at that in the natural like married love but 
really there's a higher spiritual truth in that book about our relationship with God, Amen. our fellowship with God. And at one point, um, the beloved, which is Jesus, says to his bride, which is us, let me see your face and hear your voice because your face is lovely and your voice is sweet. You know, that is the, the type of thing that God wants. And there's a perfume, like Mona Lisa, you were, you were saying, that is released oh, yes. and incense in the realm oh, of the yes. spirit Amen. when you spend time fellowshipping with God. You know, God longs for your fellowship. Oh, yes. That is the reason that God sent Jesus most of all is that he so longed to be back in fellowship with man. And when you realize that God's desire is toward you, it will draw you to that place of fellowship where you can sit with the Lord and it's you and him. There's no higher fellowship than that in all the earth. Yeah. And that is the highest right. thing that the human spirit is longing for. And you will find such fulfillment in that place. And it will begin to impact the rest of your life so powerfully. You won't even need to ask God for anything anymore because your answers will just be following you wherever you go. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's impossible to have a love relationship without fellowship. It's impossible right. to have a love relationship with God without fellowshipping with Him, right. without praying. That's right. That is, that is where you strengthen your relationship Amen. with God, is by fellowshipping. That is where you hear what, what, what is in God's heart, what, what, is, on, what is on His mind. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's what you want to know. You want to know what is on God's heart, Amen. what is in His mind. That's right. Because truly, when you begin to walk with His mind and His heart, vitally, you are now one with Him. Amen. Wow. That's beautiful. Give more time and attention to prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Some only pray when they face a difficult situation. That's not the best. Uh -uh. No. That no. is not the best. To make the kind of progress God desires for you in life, you must have a prayer culture. Amen. You must have a prayer culture heaven you must have a prayer as way of life it's a way of life to be in prayer it's right. not about that's going right. to him for my urgent need uh -uh. that's right oh, i'm telling you i've said it already that is just so tiny in this vastness of Amen. prayer glory be to god glory be to god and you know there, there is such joy and beauty of holiness when you fellowship with your heavenly yes. father that's when right you take time to actually commune with you that's you right know, your life will be taken to great levels high levels Hallelujah. extreme levels where you pick the finer details about this time when you have fellowship with the father Hallelujah. you know Tay said to us early on you get to know the heart of the father yes. and when you get to know the heart of the father that's you're right always at the same level with the father to do Amen. the father's wow. desires knowing the father's will in sync with the holy spirit yes. and wow. in second. and you will never find yourself making any giant size mistakes in life you are always at the right place at the right time doing the right thing Hallelujah. at the right time oh, because you are yeah. synchronized with Lord, the spirit of god, god. that's right the fellowship Lord, that Hallelujah. you have with the father and Amen. this is why prayer should just not be a one-stop when you need something from the father prayer has to be more than a routine Amen. it has to be a fellowship for you each Amen. and every day pastor renita says here yeah, that prayer condition and positions your spirit to think at God's level. Hallelujah. 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 If that's the only reason you ought to pray, go ahead and do so. Because you know what? Your spirit will be conditioned and positioned to think at God's level. It keeps your spirit updated. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. That latest Glory. heavenly spiritual news. Hallelujah. Praise your the Lord. Your spirit is updated with present information from headquarters. Amen. God's throne room. Hallelujah. You know, Pastor Chris says something that I absolutely love. He says that when you're in tongue talking, Always. That's right. Amen. Amen. And you know, Amen. Paul says in the first book of Corinthians, chapter 14, that I, I thank my God. He was thanking God that he speaks in tongues more than oh, every day. And actually, your testimony Amen. that you're fellowshipping with God. He says, what, what is it then? I will pray in the spirit.